You're watching Rinse TV, and we are here at the Electricity Showroom. I'm going to be speaking to 18-year-old singer-songwriter Rainy Milo about her brand new single, Rats. Today on the news, we have Rainy Milo, who's joined us. What would our news channel be called? Rinse News. Rinse News. Today on Rinse News, we are joined by Rainy Milo. Hello, welcome to the show. Hello. <laughs> would you be good at doing like news stuff? I'd be terrible, I'd be yeah. terrible. Anything live, I just can't, unless it's like performing, I yeah. just can't do it. <laughs> Why, what happens? Do you get a little bit nervous? I get really or? scared, and especially when people are like, okay, don't swear. Yeah. That's what scares me most, because I'm like, oh my goodness, what if I swear? I've already been told. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. It's lovely to see you again. We were just talking about the fact we haven't seen each other in a really long time. Mm -hmm. So what it's like maybe May. What have you been doing? Um, so I went away this summer and I was doing a lot of shows. Yeah. I did Love Box. Yeah. I think I saw you just before I was doing Love Box, maybe. Having a bit of a, uh, a good time. Yes, I had a really, really good time good. this summer. <laughs> and then I went away again to San Francisco just to work on a couple more tracks yeah. that I just had ideas for. I was just in the studio. Why San Francisco? Out ideas. Because I actually work in a recording studio over there that okay. has a lot of vintage gear. Yeah. So I record most of my tracks to tape and then we run the tape through the computer. So cassette tape? Yeah. Really? Like thick, thick tape on a massive machine that oh, really? looks like it's from like Back to the Future or something yeah. like that. <laughs> um, it's really good because I feel like it gives the tracks like some kind of weird different gives ambience grip, that you yeah. don't get when you just record straight to mm -hmm. digital. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy it? Definitely, I What's love it over there. Like? It's like a massive Brighton. Everybody's really hippy <laughs> dippy. I like it a lot. You'd like it. So you grew up in South East London? Yes. We still live there now? I still live there with my mum and my brother and my little dog. Yeah. My sister lives across the street and it's like, we've got a really small family yeah. but we're really tight and I like it. <laughs> Why did your sister decide to move out? She messed up like the unit. Well, I know, but she's like a lot older now. Okay, she's fine. about 30, so I think she's allowed okay, to fine. live by herself. It's cool then. If we went into your room, Rainy, yes. what would we see? What's your, like, your room like? Do you know what? My room is fine until I have to get dressed yeah. and then it's all over from there. Yeah. It's just a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. Yeah. But, um, just, you know, sort of a half made up bed. Yeah. A lot of clothes on the floor yeah. and maybe just my laptop's always out and this open. Sounds, this sounds normal, don't worry. Yeah, okay, it's all right. good. <laughs> so you've been writing? Yes. Since you were a little bambino? Little baby. About 14 years old. Yeah. And um, I originally just started button bashing on a keyboard that I had in okay, my house. Cool. And I was always really into poetry. And then one day I sort of connected that I could put the poems with the little tunes that I was making mm -hmm. up on the keyboard. Yeah. And I just remember thinking how cool and amazing and new that was. And so I quickly made that sort of my thing. So I'd come home from school and I'd write songs on the keyboard. You yeah. know, some people write diary entries. I was writing songs. Yeah. And it just stuck and I really enjoyed it. And that's kind of like the formula that you've taken from now. Yeah, definitely. And then what's the inspirations for your poems? Always just real life and just, you know, if somebody's really frustrated me or if I'm really happy yeah. about things. I'm quite a bottler. I don't really tend to talk to people too much. Yeah. So I just put it into songs So instead. you don't go out, you don't, <laughs> don't talk, talk to, to people. people. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, when do you come alive? Is it when you're on the stage? Is that when you kind of funnily let everything definitely, out? Definitely, because, you know, that's me then performing my songs because my songs, are, my songs ultimately are stories. Yeah. And so I feel like when I'm performing them, I'm just telling the stories. And it's always really interesting that the more shows I'm doing now, the yeah. more and more I'm seeing people singing along. And it's really amazing and special <laughs> to me just to see people do that. Yeah. I really like it. What is it about your music do you think that people kind of relate to so much? Do you think it's your voice? Do you think it's actually what you're saying? What do you think it is about you? Um, I sort of consider like... myself as a bit more of a songwriter than a singer, really, mm -hmm. even though I do sing my songs that I've written. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, it is you. Yeah, and I feel like um, people connect with the lyrics, yeah. ultimately, because I only, I'm only 18 years old and I only write about things that are real and true to my life. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, my life's not that much different from other people, oh, you know. Yeah. People still make friends and fall out with friends and meet people and stuff, and that's just what I write about. Mm. <laughs> so you, um, you've recently been touring. You started touring just the end of October you were supporting Clean Bandit? So. Yeah, I was, I was. And I did some shows up north. I was in Manchester. Mm -hmm. And next month I'm going on tour with J. Cole. Amazing. I know, that's right. I can't believe it. So I'm really <laughs> excited about that. Do you ever sometimes look into the future and think, OK, Rain Rainy, in like two years you're going to be doing this? Or do you kind of keep things sort of like, tomorrow I just want to go and buy an ice cream? <laughs> no, I definitely have goals that I'd like to reach in two years. Like, yeah. I'd really like to be 
an artist that just has their own sound. So I'd like for, you know, when some people say, oh, this person's the next da 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 da, mm. I'd like for people to say someone else is the next Rainy Milo. Yeah. I'd like to have a concrete have sound a cool. that people recognise and are like, oh, that sounds like Rainy Milo, that's what Rainy does. Yeah. I'd like to have that. So the single is out on the 25th of November. It's yes, called Rats. Rats. Whenever I say it on radio, I'm like, this is Rainy Milo, Rats. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, the weirdest thing. <laughs> <laughs> is that like a, a theme within your music? Where do like the names come from when you're kind of creating stuff? Um, a lot of the names sort of just come from some of the lyrics that are yeah. inside the song, but obviously Rats doesn't have the word <laughs> Rat in it. What? Which I was just like, I was listening to it and I'm like, when is when's she going to say it? But I think it really kind of suits the fact that the lyrics are talking about grimy London nightlife sort of like, yeah. and it's very dark sounding with the dark horns. And so I feel like the word rat sort of suits just kind it. Of summed it up. So what are you working on at the moment musically? At the moment musically, well, I finished my album yeah. last summer and then over this summer I was sort of hashing out ideas for a couple extra songs that I wanted to add to it. So right now it's more just doing shows okay. and releasing the music, which is always kind of scary. Yeah. So I don't think about the audience when I'm writing, yeah. but then when it comes to putting out the songs, I'm like, oh my God, You're people like, are going to hear this. Have to yeah, hear this song. exactly. <laughs> but it's been cool so far. Yeah, and definitely. You've enjoyed it. What was, what's your wildest dream when it comes to your music career? My wildest dream? Um, just like I said, definitely just being an artist that people know and recognise yeah. instantly without it being some crazy big pop commercial thing, mm. you know, just just a well-known artist for, a, for yeah. good reasons, you know, quite like Shada, I think yeah. she's had a really good career, I'd like to have something quite similar to hers. Well, we wish you all the best. Thank you. And we're sure you're going to get there. Thank you. You're going to have loads of fun. Good luck with the single as well. Thank so you. Rats is out on the 25th of November. Yes. Right. It was lovely to see you. Thank you. And I'm going to enjoy my, uh, my lemon water now. <laughs> yes.